little bit about me in nonprofits for almost 20 years now, and have all for a majority of those years worked with kids and families. Started working out um, in an organization where we did community-based work to keep kids at home and prevent them from being placed in foster care. Or if they're in foster care, we were trying to reunify. And so that's how I started my career and became just so passionate about the population that we were serving. So much so that my husband and I became foster parents and fostered for four years, eventually um, adopting two of the kids that were placed with us. And what it really hit me when when we adopted our, our youngest child is a boy, and when, when he he was three years old, and he could he wasn't that verbal at that point. He was three, and no one could understand what he was saying and what he was communicating. His older sister tried to translate everything for us. And so he'd never been in a, in, a, in a daycare setting or an early childhood program, and we got him into a high quality early childhood program, and within 60 days, he was speaking clearly, mm -hmm. he, could, he could communicate his emotions, his feelings, he was having less tantrums, less just behavioral challenges that we were mm -hmm. having, because he couldn't communicate what was going on for him. And it was the first moment in my life where I was like, these programs matter, this is not just daycare, which is what I, I thought, and I was mm -hmm. educated, I was a clinician, I, I should have known better, and I was like, no, they, they're really teaching kids um, important skills here, like so, the social skills, the prep for kindergarten. You know, he's a sixth, or he's going to be a seventh grader now, and he, you know, got great grades and was ready for school. He still has challenges. You know, he had a traumatic start, uh, but um, you know, I think the power of that program and that care that he got was was so. Uh, important to put him on the right trajectory and acceptance of school. The way that you change these children's lives and these families' lives is um, such a great way to be able to spend your day. Uh, the team is so inspiring here. Every single staff person, whether it's the custodian, um, who every day in the hall the kids know him, they're like, hey Victor, they <laughs> high five him, they love him. Um, you know, someone wants someone in the food program, um, the person who drives the truck, um, to get the food to the sites. Everyone has a family support and child-centered focus, and they just, they're all here for the right reason. But ultimately, when I decided to take this job, because um, I liked my last job, I liked the population I was working with and the company I was at, was, was talking to Joanne on the phone. Hearing her story, um, I was laughing before this, I stopped her on the website, and you know, saw her video at Hilltop High School when she gave the commencement speech last year, and I was like, what an inspirational leader. She's living, she's living proof of how much impact these programs can have, and that's someone I want to work with and learn from. So I feel really honored to be part of her team and that she's trusting me to run, run this program and all, all the other programs that help wrap services around our kids and families.